So, IGN has made a thing on the six most overpowered characters in this game from yesterday. I don't really feel like I need to make any comment, because it's IGN. But, yeah. Nintendo's premier brawler is back, and all your favorite characters are throwing elbows and clashing swords. Masahiro Sakurai and his team have done their best to make Smash Bros. as balanced as possible, but not all fighters are created equal. Here's a list of overpowered fighters that need to be smacked down to size by the Master Hand himself. Characters who can kill with throws are a challenge, but they aren't game-breaking, unless Wait. we're talking about Ness. His They're playing with CPUs. Most attacks and combos. This is nothing new, but this is not a good way to present yourself. Bus. Wait, Most dude, notably, is any of this fire, footage against actual attacks, people? Multiple hits and easy combos, and ultimate Ness is a PK headache. You don't know you because you're not playing against good opponents. You suck. While one can argue the merits of each version of Link, Young Link is the clear winner. His ability to short hop, fire fast arrows, throw a bomb, smash and for a link off before opponents can get in a single smash make him one of the deadliest fighters in the game. He's Smash for a Link! He's a faster, lighter version of Smash for a Link! He's worse than Smash for a Link! If he's an instant to you, you're bad! You suck! Young Link is overpowered, you just suck! The leader of the Kremlings has been a highly requested character, and it's safe to say that Sakurai and friends did 1.2.0 actually nerf him or not? I forget. Simply put, he's the best heavy the series has ever seen. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing, man. He has a crawling dash that can duck under most attacks and is relatively easy to use. I have to see an actual person in play here. Figure out a way to deal with this nuclear threat if he dodges the first round of nerfs. Mitch, my guy, you suck. That's the problem, you're bad! The young lion made his triumphant return to Smash as DLC in the last installment, and it seems he is back for the respect he's due. Roy's blade is the fastest of his sword-wielding brethren, which is saying a lot. Marth side we would like to have a war with you. Ultimate, many battles will be decided on players' abilities to attack or defend while airborne. With devastating aerials and tilts, Roy can easily juggle opponents like he was the court jester. To add fuel to the fire, all four of his Smash attacks have great potential for KOs. Yeah. You're bad! Arguably the best player in the world used Diddy Kong as his main in Smash 4, so his merits are well documented. Even after some hefty rebalancing, this Kong is still a force to be reckoned with. Diddy's reach is reduced on most of his moves, including the combo-friendly monkey flip, but his base speed in every category has increased. He's also much lighter, but has less landing lag for Dude, you're bad! All these little adjustments in reality- Plugging in CPUs for all of this footage, you're bad! Has improved to a you're just bad! They're not broken, you're just bad! Even his banana peel has been buffed- I do, you're just bad! Videos, which means Diddy Kong really is a slippery foe to tangle with. It's just bad. It's poetic that two warriors who've spent years fighting with death would be so good at dealing it. Though Smash Bros. is different by design regarding fighting games, universal principles like zoning still apply, and the Belmonts are masterful at it. They have so many items in the tool belt to keep opponents at bay. They were, can that's pass through obstacles. Their, 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 whole pull, their whole stick is longest melee range in the game. Back and forth in a straight line at the heights of Dude. Throne, and their holy water is like PK fire on steroids. Or the you're just trash. The same knockback power of your average smash, while their actual smash attack is coming from the high schooler. Game. Did I mention their chain? They weren't veteran. Grab? To top it all off, a zero to death combo has already been discovered for the Belmonts. But before people start to ride in the street, be calm because it takes a high level of skill to be viable with a Belmont. At so least, okay then. With new fighters on the horizon, such as a Piranha Plant and Joker from Persona 5, and this list is well. sure to change. But as things stand, these challengers will be giving everyone a run for their money now. And You're just well bad. Done. If you enjoy my this, dude, check out our list of the top You're just trash. characters and the five best Super Smash Bros. Ultimate characters for beginners. And for everything Nintendo, Smash so for, video for, games for beginners, and that would be anyone that's brain dead. Like Smash, like uh, Young Link. My guy, you're just bad. And that's it. Nintendo's you're just bad. They're not broken. Okay, maybe a few of them are, or are, or were. But you're just bad. Just CPUs for stock footage? My guy, you suck. You suck. These characters aren't broken or overpowered. You are just crap at this game. To quote pretty much every single person in a COD lobby, get good.